In this course, we are going to be learning how to build an advanced food ordering and delivery system from scratch using Spring Boot and React. And at the end, we are going to be deploying this to the production environment. So in this course, we are going to be covering Spring Security, DC Web Token, custom, how to send custom email notification, how to deploy this to the production, how to integrate this with payment where you can make universal payment. So all these are going to be covered in the course. So we are also going to have the admin menu, where the admin dashboard, where the admin can add items, can manage items. A user can go to this profile to you know, edit the profile, to change the picture. A user can add items to a cart. A user can check out a cart, receive a custom notification. A user can you know click on that to proceed for payment. And when the payment is successful, it's going to get a successful email custom response and all of that so these are things we are going to be covering in this course and let's get into it before we get into it things will basically need a basic spring boot knowledge and and basic react knowledge so let's get in this is a completed project fully deployed so let's run an overview to see what we'll be expecting so I'm going to run it an end-to-end -end test so we can see what we're expecting and what the project is all about. So this is the home page for the project. And in the home page, you can click on this to explore all the menu. So these are all the menu, all the food items listed. And this is how it's been displayed. And when you click on each food item, it's going to show you the details. And you can see the price, the description, and we can see the ratings. And you can choose to add to a cart. We can see the customer review right here, the customer who have added reviews to this. And if you click on add to cart, you are going to be prompted to log in before you continue. And it's going to take you to the login page to continue. So before we do that, let's just get to see other public page. So we have the menu right here. We have the category right here. When you click on the category. You can see all the items that belong to that category right there. Then I can register right here. I can log in. So let me log in as a, an existing user right here. Who is this? Passing the credential and click on login. And the user has been logged in right here. When the user is logged in, we can see we now have the cart and the profile right here. When I click on the profile, I can get to see the profile detail of that user. I can click to view all the orders of that user. For currently, these are the order of this user. I can as well update the profile picture, update the profile information. I can choose here to add a different picture of, of, of dates. So let me just come right here, select a picture right here. I don't know. Yeah, let me just select this one to so update profile picture. And I can update the email, phone number, and the address as well. So as you can see, the pictures were updated, and this is the new one. So I can come to my menu to get all the items. I can add an item to a cart. Click on this. Click on Add to Cart right here. Item, item has been added to cart. When I go to my cart right here, I can proceed to check out. Just click on this to check out. And after it has been checked out, I'm going to receive a mail, and this is going to redirect me back to the other page right here. And I can see my order has been initialized, but it has not been confirmed because I've not made payment. So I'm going to go to my mail right here, where I'll be expecting to receive the payment information, which you can see right here. And I can, this is going to be the custom template email sent to me. I can click on to complete my order right here. And this is going to show me the other information that I have placed. Click on to complete the order. It's going to take me to the secure payment page where I will pass in my payment, my credit or debit card information. I'm going to make payment right there. So I'm just going to get an information right. I'm going to get my credit card right here for testing purpose. I'm going to get that. Have it right here. Pass in the expiring month and then the expiring year. And then pass in my CCV and then my receipt right here. Click on pay. And that has been processed right here, as we can see. If the payment is successful, we are going to get this page right here that says payment successful. And if there's a failure, 
is also going to take me to the payment failure page. Um, after everything, it's going to navigate me back to my other history pages right here, which we can see. Uh, right now, we can see the status of the order has been, has been changed to confirm. That means that this order has been paid for and it has been confirmed. If I go back to my mail right here and go back, we can see I've received the successful payment response right here. It's a successful payment email. So if the email fail, the failure is going to be sent and the reason for the failure also is going to be sent. So right now, the my product has been confirmed and admin is going to get and uh, take it off from there. So let me log in as an admin and let's see that. I'm going to come right here. I'm going to log in as an admin here so I can manage the orders I'm getting. So I'm, I can log in as an admin or as a delivery man. So he's an admin. I can go to the admin portal where I can manage and see all the information. So this is the dashboard right here. And for now, we don't really have much items. We only have the active customer for orders and many items there. And I can get my revenue per month distribution. I can also get the chart right here. And then the recent orders, the most popular items have been shipped out. I can manage the category, manage the menu, manage my order, then manage the payment right here. And I can see the payment information. So for now, an order was placed, which is this one right here, and I'll be confirmed. I'm just going to click on this to view. And as a delivery man, I can update the status to be on the way. Let me update that to be on the way. And then when I log in, like when the user comes right here, the user is going to get notified on the status of the order, which we can come to the profile for the user and go to the view orders right here. We can see the order is currently on the way right here. So if the order has been delivered, then the delivery man can come right here and click on delivered right there. And then when the user goes right here and recheck, we can see the user can see the item has been delivered. And whenever an item is delivered, the user will have the ability to leave a review. So this item has been delivered to this user and then she can leave a review. Click on the leave review right here. And I can just select my ratings. Let me just select. Number nine, and um, this is gonna be a lovely, a lovely breakfast, fast meal, and then I'm going to click on submit review right here, and we can see review has been submitted successfully, and I'm redirecting back, and immediately I will leave a review. We can see whenever. A, an item has been reviewed by the user who ordered it, the review button is gone. It means that you cannot review items more than once. So if I go back to this item right here, which is was the English breakfast, we can see right here the review is being added right here that was just added. And other users can come and see the review for that item. So let us see what the admin can do. An admin can have a dashboard to view all the data. He can manage a category. So let's add a new category right here and see how it's done. Click on add category. Let me just call this others and then description. Let's just say others right here. And save category. You can see category has been added. You can click on to edit the category and then you can update it. You can click on to delete and then it has going to be deleted right here. Let's just add a new category again and then let's, you know, let's add item. Let me just call this extra cards just for test purpose. And then I'm going to add it. Then I can add my menu item right here. This is the menu management. I can edit a menu and admin can delete the menu. And yeah, so let's add a new menu. Click on the add menu right here and you're going to select the image, the category. The menu should belong the name, the description, and the price. So let me just select an image for that. I'm just going to come right here and click on, let's just say, being boarding. Click on that. And the category, I'm just going to call that, um, let's just call that, I don't know, let's say extra cards, the one we just created. And the price is going to be like $6. And it's going to be called being boarding. And I can just add that description and then click on save menu item. 
and it's currently be saved you can see the menu item has been saved and that is right there right here so if a user comes right here to the menu page the user can see the new menu that was added which is the pin porting and the image is right there and the user can begin to view the detail and then add this item to the cart so the same way an admin can edit a menu right here you can decide to select to change the image of the menu you can also decide to delete the menu as well if you want to delete it by just clicking on the delete and that menu is gone so admin also can manage the order as we saw earlier you can update the status of each of them and then can also manage the payment get the information can get the details of each payment when you click on the detail you can see a more comprehensive detail of the payment the order of belonging to that payment the customer who made the payment and the order and then the other item that was being paid for and then the amount then for the other as well you can also view the other details it's going to give you more information about the customer the order the item that was ordered for and then the price as well so this is the admin dashboard for the page and we also have the profile of the user then the user can perform different things we have category we have menu we have our home and then you can also log out right here and then the users of this axis of our own time can also decide to log out right there so this is the end-to-end -end test for the application and then we are going to get into action also we have a full ui design for all the pages we are going to be creating and an access and a link of this design is also being shared so check on it and you can see how both screens we are designing and the same time we also have our diagram where we have the architectural design we have the entities that we are using right here and all of these materials are going to be shared also as we progress along the link to this full course is found in the description below so go there click on the link and you get access to this full quality course